uh, hello friends today we'll be discussing uh, about the injection manufacturing process my name is palash i have done m farm in pharmaceutical medicine and chemistry Uh, before going uh, towards uh, my presentation, I would like to request you all, please subscribe my channel P R E S Press Pharmaceutical Resource and Education Services, and press the bell icon to get notification of my all upcoming videos. So let's let's start and understand what are the flow industry. Follows to manufacture sterile injectable formulations. So the first uh, comes with warehouse. So warehouse is the area which utilize to store all kind of API, excipients, label, packaging material, different solvent used in the process as well as testing lab and other chemicals although we understand that the different warehouses are available in the manufacturing sites based on the capability or based on the capacity required those areas are temperature controlled so it's called as control but not classified areas few material they required storage in 2 to 8 or cooling temperature so separate cooling cabinet are provided in the warehouse for those kind of material solvents are recommended to store in a different area where the chances of ignitions or catching fire uh, in the solvents will be minimized the materials api excipients all the materials will be considered for the qc testing and they will be hold till they are released for manufacturing even though if they are rejected they should to be those materials should to be segregated separately and need to be discarded after proper documentations so initial processes dispensing where you require to get adequate uh, amount of material mentioned in your BMR or batch manufacturing record so this material can be your raw material, it can be your primary packing material in terms of clash container, rubber bank and flip up seal or it can be a secondary or tertiary packing material is required later on for your packaging process. So any kind of powder they handled under this dispensing booth, this dispensing booth are held for any kind of contamination control it prevent material and human being both for getting contaminated for any kind of toxic substance it is recommended to use closed loop isolator or person should to be adequately wear the PPE kit to safeguard themselves from the toxicity of the material so next process is compounding this process is required to compound the material or it is the initial formulation stage where you require a vessel where you mix your api excipient with suitable solvent wfi preferably used as a widely used solvent as per the predefined step mentioned in the bpr the entire manufacturing process are considered in this vessel couple of checks or in process checks or in build checks are available in this machine like pH DO or conductivity based on the requirement after compounding this unsterile solutions are transferred into the holding or sterilization holding vessel after getting filtrations so next stage we'll see the filtrations so during filtrations all the content available in the compounding vessels 
will be move through 0.45 micron as the initial filtrations or it can be called as bar burden reduction filter and later on it will be passed through 0.2 micron filter and it will move for filling machine for subsequent filling activity here it is recommended to use redundant filtrations for the sterile gate filter so in case of failure of the initial filter second filter can be ensured for the sterility of the solution filter integrity here is one of the important aspect which will ensure the integrity of the filter after uses for the process these filters are normally used for the product specific or most of firms are preferred to use one time use only so these are throw after getting integrity testing those filter are discarded so while washing is one of the important activity where the container which will hold your sterile solution that need to be washed so first of all the stage is uh, this vials are getting decarton they are verify under eliminations whether any kind of breakage or any kind of critical defects are there then the vials are getting segregated and later on those vials are kept in the washing machine for subsequent washing process once these vials are getting washed they are moved towards deperenation tunnel this tunnel used to deperenate the glass containers tunnels are mainly categorized in the three different zone where the initial zone is called preheating zone it will it will take the material in and it will start drying the vial with the heat around 110 degree later on this stage is called heating zone or deperenation zone where the maximum temperature will be achieved it's it's more than 250 degree and around 350 degree people are qualified based on the temperature and time to get the adequate deperenation later on this is the cooling chamber all the container are getting cooled and they are moving towards filling machine so the solution is ready containers are ready now we need to get ready for the filling machine so here is a step which will ensure the washing cleaning of all the assembly scoop use in the uh, dispensing process everything is getting clean and the material is getting wrapped and sterilized whenever it is using for further aseptic process or a filling activity or maybe sterilization activity or maybe filtration activity so fewer the material which which are widely considered for the sterilization during the process is the rubber stopper which will be used uh, for stoppering the vial that need to be sterilized flip off seals although it is getting you know top of the rubber stopper but it is considered as a primary packing container that need to be sterilized clean loom garment used by the operator that need to be sterilized including the safety goggles and the filling change part whatever we are using in the filling process it may be your buffer vessel where the solution is getting accumulated it may be the assembly where from the solution is moving towards the filling pump filling needle filling tubing everything need to be sterilized and ensure uh, they are ready for subsequent filling process going ahead so next stage is filling bunging and sealing so we can again categorize this process in the two way first is liquid filling if your process or if your product is liquid then it will be filled it will be bung it will be sealed and further it will move towards inspection if it is a live lies process and then it will be filled and it will be half stopper to allow uh, you know the gas moving from from your vial uh, when your contain within the vial getting solidify so it's called half stoppering we'll see in our subsequent life life slide then live loading once the live loading is done live lation portions will run post live lation process 
they 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 will be fully stopper within the live relations then it will be unload then it will be sill so next process we describe the live relation this is a process where uh, we consider the live relation freeze drying is a process in which water is removed from a product after it is frozen place under a vacuum and allow the ice change directly from solid to vapor without passing through a liquid phase this process consists three separate unique and independent process first called freezing where your solution getting frozen then primary drying it is sublimation where uh, the evaporation started uh, from the solid surface secondary drying where the interstitial water will be starting evaporating it's called dissolution so this is a phase diagram of the water where we have shown solid liquid and gas and we know solid to liquid is called melting liquid to solid is called freezing liquid to gas is called vaporization gas to liquid it's called condensation but the below triple point the life relation is, is taken considered so solid to gas it's called sublimation and gas to solid is called dissolution sorry disposition so later on the process is sealing uh, it's it's basically for the live lines process where where your where your container getting live lines and it is sealed later on so most probably in the seal we we ensure the integrity is proper the big threat is this sterility as well as product stability dye ingress method uh, using methylene blue is one of the most popular destructive method used earlier in our process although nowadays industry are going towards lot of non destructive method so next process is inspection where we will inspection our finished product against black and white background manually and nowadays lots of automatic automation also done in this uh, process where we can directly check all the defects i have listed few of the defects here but not all this for example like some extraneous particle embedded in your surface in the solution product precipitation sealing or camping defect crack volume variation lyo cake melting back can be an issue there is a questions for lyo how do we verify uh, this volume verification and scratches dentes and black particle here for the lyo product we need to reconstitute the cake with the water it become a liquid then we can verify the content under the background later on is uh, packing it is one of the important uh, phase of manufacturing where as per the batch packing record person get issued all the material from the warehouse they starting packaging the important uh, factor is checking manufacturing date expiry date and batch number adequately in every stages of packing it may be a secondary it may be tertiary it may be a initial one it may be a leaflet that everything should be interconnected and traceable in future so it is very important in future if you have a recall your product need to be traced so uh, the transportations can be done in temperature control uh, based on the product requirement so today i have discussed wholly about uh, the injectable manufacturing process uh, it's it's a very basic and brief overview hopefully you people has been understood the way i have tried to explain every stages please feel free to get back to me if you have any specific clarity or you need some uh, detail in any of the stages thank you very much please visit our channel please share to your friends and colleague Thank you very much once again